Miss Toadie Toad. Miss Toad, where you going? With all of that ass. <laughs> Alright, what's good, man? It's your boy Steph. I'm at H-E-B, of course, you know what I'm saying? We shopping and shit. About to get uh, something for a barbecue. Beans, but no pork in that shit, you know what I'm saying? Hot dogs, but no pork, just beef. And uh, good ass snacks and shit, you feel what I'm saying, my nigga? When you got that bitch with that big ass, make sure you bend that ass over for it, you know? All right, you guys, I am at Air Pizza's. It's like a Venezuelan, you know what I'm saying, restaurant, right? And uh, usually what I get here is I get, um, I'll show y'all the menu real quick, like that. So they got uh, this is what I get. I get the bowl. So I get the I get the paralita bowl. You know what I'm saying? Got the grilled grilled steak, grilled, uh, grilled chicken breast, sauteed peppers, onions, bell peppers. Um, I don't get the avocado. I don't get rice with it, and I don't get the cheese. Yeah, pretty much what I get is just the protein and the veggies that come with it. Uh, sometimes I will add cheese while I'm here, but it's just protein veggies. Have me some water. I ain't even gonna do no diet coke today. You know what I'm saying? So, just trying to show y'all, boys, man, how you can, you can eat good and you can still make money, still be on your diet. You can eat good, bro. You still be lean. You know what I'm saying? It's a lifestyle. You want this shit to be a lifestyle. You wanna, you wanna add this to your lifestyle. You feel what I'm saying? You don't wanna be like, oh, I wanna lose 20 pounds. Like, nah, nigga, you don't. It's not about, <laughs> it's not about losing 20 pounds. It's about it's about enjoying the process and really, really want to stick to the process, enjoying the process. That's what it's mainly about. It's not about uh, how much you're losing. It's about what you're going to gain in the end. Perlita ball. Yeah, perlita ball. And um, can you do um, no rice? No rice in the perlita ball, just cabbage. Perlita ball? Cabbage? Cabbage. See. So just pull up and stay. Just cabbage. Just fresh cabbage. No rice. Cabbage. Yes, ma'am. No avocado. Yes, see, that's it. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Uh, can I get a uh, Diet Pepsi? Yeah, thank you. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> she said, "Do I am I the guy that's from the gym?" It's a girl that uh, work here that has a huge crush on me. And she be playing hard to get and shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know them games, them women be playing. You know, weird ass shit, right? right, right. So I was looking, man, we got the steak, chicken, got my diet Pepsi right there, I'm gonna fuck with the Pepsi though, I'm gonna fuck with the steak. YouTube, what do you do? It's your boy Steph, man. Welcome back to another cold video. Before I dive into this video topic, man, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Steph is Cold. Make sure you guys also follow me on Twitter at Steph is Cold. And if you want one-on-one -on -one consultations, go to stephiscold.com. I have something for you guys today. Um, it is a question that somebody asked me, and I really, really want to touch on this topic. He says, I can't stop thinking about this girl, but every time I get with other chicks or dig one of them out, I'm still thinking about her. And when I'm working on myself doing entrepreneur work, I'm still thinking about her. You know, what you what you what you what you guys fail to realize is you're always gonna be thinking about her. You know why you're always going to be thinking about her? Because you didn't put yourself in a position to level up and get to his place where she's he's not even a fucking thought. You have to put yourself in a position in life so these things don't even be a thought to stoop down to a lower level. 
It shouldn't even be a thought. When you on your grind, when you trying to get to the next level, bro, when you want that new thing, bro, that old shit gotta get left behind, my nigga. Y'all, too many of y'all want one foot in, one foot out. I was talking about this this morning on my, you know, my group coaching, man. 32 degrees, man. <laughs> DM me to work code if you want information on that, by the way. And I was just telling them, like, bro, you, you, you can't, like, you can't be. It has to be like, like here, like I'm right here. I'm not going nowhere. I want to go higher. It has to be in you, bro. Y'all niggas think this shit is a fucking game. I still think about my ex. Oh, I still think about the job that's paying me $20 an hour. You still thinking about that job that's paying you $20 an hour because you haven't elevated past that 20, my nigga. You gotta elevate past the 20 to not think about the 20. You gotta get out the hood so you don't think about the hood. I don't think about the hood, bro. I'm from the hood. Do you think I think about the hood, bro? I don't think about the hood, bro, because it's out of sight, out of mind. So my brain, the chemicals in my brain don't even, they don't even allow me. It's the fun. Think about the hood. Nigga, they don't even allow me to think about the hood. <laughs> so why would I? I'm past that. That's behind me. You gotta be, dog. It, it, you gotta really want to be cold, bro. It has to be in you, bro. At the end of the day. <laughs> At the end of the day, bro, it really has to be in you, bro. No book, no video, no, 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 no none of that. None of that. No, your, your, your favorite inspirational guy, he can't fucking save you. He can't. It has to be in you. Nigga, that nigga, I can't make you play defense, nigga. The best defenders want to play D. And guess what? Sometimes when you play D, you're going to get crossed up. You're going to make mistakes. But it's about to get back. That's the most important thing. We always worrying about what, what, what the bitch doing or what my ex doing. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking new girls. You're not fucking new girls. You're fucking bum ass bitches, bro. You're not fucking no bad bitches, bro. According to your scale, you can't be, man. Why would I be in the Hellcat thinking about the Nissan, bro? Bro, come on, bro. I'm thinking about higher. I'm not thinking about what's behind me. I'm looking for what's in front of me, where I'm going, where I'm trying to go. I'm not, I don't care what's behind me. We care too much about what's behind us. Thinking about her. What? Man, you gotta think about leveling up. You gotta think about how to not think about her. Whatever there's a negative, there's a positive. But like I say, it, it, it gotta be in you. It gotta be in your heart. It gotta be in your heart. It gotta it, you gotta have a desire to want to wanna wanna really change, bro. You gotta really want that shit gotta be inside of you, dog. Oh, like, like funny story, bro. Like my freshman year in high school, bro, I went to uh, Homestead High School in Mequon, Wisconsin. You feel what I'm saying? And um, we had a really, really great basketball team from freshmen all the way to up to seniors. Like our varsity team was really good. And um, I remember we would do these these suicides. <clears throat> they call suicides. And you go, you know what I'm saying? You start at the baseline, you go baseline, free throw, back, Half court, back, opponent's free throw, line, back, opponent's baseline, all the way back. You got to do that in 60 seconds. And I think you have to do that twice. Yeah, you have to do that twice. So you have to do that, that, that sequence twice in 60 seconds, and I will beat everybody. I will beat everybody. 
No bullshit. <laughs> my little freshman ass, I will beat everybody. I will beat everybody. And, and, and while I'm running, I'm talking shit. I'm motivating myself while I'm running. They, 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 I, I can't let them outwork me. I just can't. I gotta keep going. Based on that, damn, they like damn stuff. And then guess what? We would do, we would do these, we would do, we would do the same thing. So you know how you that same sequence, we had a 45 pound above our head. So we had a 45 pound above our head running, doing that same sequence, and I beat everybody. Everybody clapping, yeah, because you're around that competitive, that competitive energy. Yes, I grew up playing sports. That's probably why y'all soft. You probably ain't grow up playing no sports. Soft as hell. <laughs> soft as hell. My coach used to curse at me and yell at me. And I used to be like, man, what's wrong with you? But now that I'm older, I understand that now. I had the mindset, bro, when I was hooping, bro, I'm about to outwork them. I'm about to bust everybody ass because I'm super competitive. That's how you, that's how serious you got to take your goals, bro. You got to have that mindset, man. I'm going to outwork all these niggas. You know, but you know, I never got the opportunity to play at a high level. Besides, that's all right, though. I'm here. That's cool, though. I'm here. I never got the opportunity to play at a higher level. I never got the opportunity to play varsity. Never got the opportunity to play college. But I learned a lot of fucking life lessons playing basketball, playing AAU, playing uh, running track, running AAU track, but mainly basketball. I learned a lot of life lessons hooping, bro. And one of the coldest lessons I learned was, nigga, you gotta be in that gym shooting, nigga. You gotta be in that gym shooting, nigga. So when, so when you make it, you can tell niggas, nigga, you want women shooting in the gym? Come on, man. But why my ex want me? I'm worried about a bitch. I'm worrying, thinking, of, I'm, you're literally digging holes out, worrying about a lesser bitch. Come on, bro, you gotta fix up here, bro. Up here, bro, uh, up here, dog. What it's gonna be, G?